Um, one thing I was wondering for a filmmaker that's like relatively young like you is uh, how your, your work tends to be seen as, a, as all of it in like a, a retrospective almost. And, and what's interesting to me about that is that there's always like an accompanying like critical analysis. And I'm wondering how you react to kind of everything being seen as a piece and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of analysis or even seeing the films with big gaps between them, the way they're kind of made. I mean, they're actually made quite one after the it's other, true, yeah. so because I've shot most of the films without taking too much time in between. And because all of them, I mean, not all of them, but most of them are with the same actors and the same actors playing similar characters. <laughs> So in, in a way, it feels natural that the films will be seen together and talked about them like together, almost as a one continuous type of work. And I, I think it's, it's nice for me. In a way, it's, I, I see it in a similar way that uh, peop, like if it was an exhibit, it would make sense, like an art gallery or something, it would make sense to play all of them together because they relate to each other. It's like the same sort of world, the same type of... Uh, it's a kind of research that I'm doing and also not, not just with the actors and the characters and the stories, but like formally and the, the sort of things that I'm trying to, to, to play with. Like, the, like there's many formal games throughout the films that at first I didn't have them and slowly I started sort of developing uh, kind of a, an interest for like, I, I, call, I think they're sort of games and I think they repeat themselves and they change uh, throughout most of my films and so in a way they all are talking to each other in terms of the characters and the stories but also in terms of how they're formally made. So for me, it's actually a lot nicer to present the films together than to present them individually and to, and to get them, and, and when people write about them in relation to each other, it makes a lot more sense to me as well. I think they sort of, they become more interesting, at least the films. I, I mean, I have problems with all my films. I, I don't think like any of the films really work well alone, but all of them together, there is like a, a little bit of, you know, in each one there's a little bit that works quite well, I think, and then, so if you just focus on that, there's something interesting going on. You know? Is that a benefit of kind of having them all, almost all of them together on movie as like a platform to... I had, no, actually, like the movie thing, I had no idea that it oh, even really? was there. Like, a friend emailed me like two weeks ago and he was like, oh, like, you know, your movies have been featured there and I, nobody had told me. And, I emailed the sales agent to ask him what the <laughs> hell is this and he didn't email me back so I don't even know why they're in a movie or anything. Well there's like a real pomp and circumstance too, it's like one year only and, and they have their own special page and... Yeah but I, I don't, I, I still don't know how, what that's about. <laughs> Outside of kind of the, the references that exist between them and the intertext, is there, is there something about the themes that also is conveyed? Because a lot of people when they write about them tend to talk also about uh, the location and maybe even a kind of sense of from the actors that are the, the two actors that are repeated uh, kind of there's a community almost that it's hard to say like I was not thinking about it like um, consciously when I made the films so it's it's almost like a reading of it that I have as well like when I look at them I see sort of certain um, connections that I didn't think about it was it's a lot more organic than it seems it's not like I set out to do this type of work it just sort of happened uh, a little bit by chance I met this this theater group in Mexico that that uh, I find their work incredibly interesting and I think they're good actors but uh, I felt like I could work with them constantly in with my own ideas but they understand what I'm what I'm trying to do, and I, I really appreciate what they do. And the main person in that theater group is this guy, Gavino Rodriguez, who's the act, main actor in many of my films. And he is a bit of, he's almost like an assistant director in my films, that he, um, uh, he not assistant director in the sort of like, 
in the film sense of what an assistant director does, but like he he's not yelling around at people and telling them what to do. It's more like a person that tells me ideas and things that work or not don't work, and he helps me out sort of like figuring out things because we when we shoot we always come up with new scenes and new or, or new spins for for the scenes and and he's very involved in that process of of coming up with with stuff or, or to make things a bit more interesting and that comes from his he's a theater director and and i think there's a lot of influence from their world into my films and they they're always working on a play while i'm making a film with them and sort of what their the ideas that they're thinking about at the time of making the play somehow permeate some things that i do in my films and uh, and i think sort of that makes it also the films be even more connected, sort of, uh, because it's a lot. It's it's a big. Uh, it's it's a lot of people involved, not just in making them in, in, in a practical sense, but in the ideas that go into. Them, you know? I don't even know if that answered what no, you were no, saying. Uh, it also draws attention to kind of the. There, there's a, a close connection that's made when people write about your work with Mexico, but. Uh, not as much as played up in the Canadian, and that seems to be more of a funding relationship. With yeah, I mean it's uh, yeah, I mean in Canada because I live here and I've, I'm I'm Canadian and I've lived here for like ten years. Uh, you know, I get some of the council fundings, and, and that's that, that's the main relation. How is that process for for films that are especially not set here? It, it's there is no issue at all because I mean a lot of Canadians make films that make documentaries in whatever country or whatever. So the, I, I mean, for me, it's been great the fact that there is not a mandate for Canadian films to be shot within Canadian soil type thing. Because I mean, even though my I just shot a movie in Canada, but but uh, yeah, that's been it's been mainly like a funding thing, and that's why there are co-productions. I also get money from other places, but one of the places I get money is from Canada. How was, for, so Summer of Goliath was one that had a kind of international uh, funding. It was not the first one, but, but it was the one that had like, probably, it was the most expensive film. No, well, yeah, more or less, it was closer to one of the most expensive films. And, and so it had like, you know, the, the Dutch, the Rotterdam Film Festival gives has a funding a thing called the uh, Hoover Valls Fund and obviously because I'm Mexican and I'm Canadian I'm able to draw from different sources and I'm lucky that way and so I can get funding from the Mexican government and also from other places that fund films for third world countries because I'm, I'm Mexican and I shoot in Mexico and then which is the case of the Hoover Valls and then uh, and then in Canada I get, get the council grants but e e even then these are like I can draw from different resources, but every resource is like, you know, like ten, twenty thousand dollars and stuff like that. So at the end of the, the films are not like expensive in the in the in the film sense. It's just that I get funding from. I need to, to in order to make them and pay people decently. I have to draw from many different sources, yes. and that's why they end up being co-productions of three or four, four countries. You know?